So I've now put out a clean palette, but I'm using exactly the same colors as before, but I can just now focus on refining and reinforcing the darker shadow patterns. Because when I've come back to the painting, that's the main thing that I've noticed. The shadow pattern, that if I tweak that, get the drawing better on those darks, then it will bring the whole painting together. This is just a touch of the acrylic glazing liquid gloss. Just means you can blush some of these colours over just to marry the colours together slightly and give that little sense of a glaze. So I'm just adding this little dashes of cream colour to the front foreground of the painting and then just put a few dots along the whole of the front so it just subtly brings the viewer's eye around the whole of the front section of the picture. So now I've swapped to the stiffer hog hair brush and I can really focus on those darker shapes. So I'm squinting my eyes when I look at the reference image and this just makes it easier for me to see the differences and the lights and the darks and then I'm just painting back those shapes and just looking at the balance between the dark shapes and the shadows of the trees.
So this is just with a touch of the Tharlo blue with the green shade and a little bit of titanium white and I can add a little bit of thicker blue into the sky and then reflect that colour into the water. So and then with the smaller round brush I'm just going to add these tiny dashes of pink which act as a complementary colour to the greens so the greens will appear more intense and I can paint those in little dashes all along the front of the painting just to bring that nice colour harmony to the whole piece. <laughs> 